Hi guys, happy first week of school. I'm so glad we're back together and we can start creating again. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what our first art project of the year is going to be. But first, I've gotta put my mask on. So we're gonna be wearing masks all day long here at school to keep everybody around us safe as well as ourselves safe. And that's what the basis of our first art project is going to be. We're gonna be creating mask self portraits. These are really cool though, because when it's folded, your mask is on. And when you open it, you can see your beautiful smile. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is make sure our paper is facing the right direction. So you're gonna make sure that it is long way, so it's tall and skinny and not short and wide, okay? Now let's review how we write our name on our papers. The bottom right corner, you're gonna write your name. In the middle at the bottom, you're gonna write your grade. So we'll put a two for second grade. And then on the bottom left, you're gonna write your teacher's name. So right struck here for Mrs. Struck's class. Just like that. Okay. Now we always write our name on the back of our paper. So we're going to go ahead and flip our paper over. After we've done that, we're making sure it's tall and skinny. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the very bottom of our paper. And we're going to fold it until it meets the top and then we're going to crease it just like this. When you do this, you should be able to see where you wrote your name. Now, you gotta double check and make sure that the folded part is facing towards you and the part that opens like this is at the top or facing the front of your desk. When you do that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the first paper not both, just the first, and we're gonna fold it down to the fold and crease again. So you have a paper that looks like this. And now we are ready to start drawing. So I want you to find where you believe about the middle of the paper is. Now, this does not have to be perfect, just a good guess of where the middle is. And on one side, we're gonna draw our eye. I'm drawing a half circle and then a straight line at the bottom for the eyes. You do not have to make your eyes this way. You can make them however you want. And then on the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. Okay. After you do that on the inside, I'm gonna do a circle. This is for the iris. The iris is going to be the colored part of your eye. So it might be blue, maybe you have green eyes, maybe you have brown, hazel, any of those. And then I'm gonna do a smaller circle and that's gonna be the pupil, which is the black part of your eye. I'm gonna go ahead and color my pupil in. When you're finished with that, if you would like to add eyelashes, you can. You don't have to, it's up to you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also add eyebrows. Now, if you're someone that wears glasses, if you wanna draw your glasses, go for it. If you don't wanna draw your glasses, you don't have to completely up to you. If you'd like to draw your glasses and want to know how, you can raise your hand and I can come show you what to do. After we draw our eyes and our eyebrows, we're going to find, again, the center part of in between our eyes, more towards the top though. This is going to be where our hairline is going to be. I'm going to put a little dot right there. And I'm going to go from my dot and I'm going to draw a arched line or curved line down to where the folded paper is. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, just like that. My next step is I'm going to add my ears. 
So your ears are going to be um, lined up with about where your eyes are, the top of your ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like this on this side, same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna draw my chin. So I'm gonna find where my middle is again, put a dot. It shouldn't be all the way down at the bottom of your paper, but pretty close. And same thing I did for the top, I'm just gonna go down around to that dot, back up to the other side. Now we're gonna draw our mask. So I'm gonna find that middle again, draw a dot. We're gonna do a curve line down to this side and a curve line down to that side. All we're missing now is our hair. So I want you to think about what the texture of your hair is. And we are gonna to try to get as close to that texture as we possibly can. Um, I have some examples up here on the screen for you guys to look at. If you don't know what to do for your hair, you may look at one of those and get ideas and inspiration from that. So my hair, I have a little part right here. And then it's kind of wavy and comes down. Same thing over here, wavy comes down. I'm gonna follow that down on the folded part. Same thing over here. Oops, and you know what? We forgot one thing, we forgot our neck because we don't wanna have a floating head. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw two lines down, one on each side of my chin for my neck. And then I'm gonna finish my hair off right here. I'm gonna add some little waves just to add a little bit more texture to my hair. Remember, you're making your hair look like your hair though. All right, so our masked part of our self-portrait is finished. Now we have to draw the smiling part of our self-portrait. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish our chin. So again, I'm gonna find you're gonna go above that middle fold and I'm going to find where I think the center is and again, do a little dot. And then the exact same way you did it for the masked part, curve line down, curve line back up. This time though, we're going to draw our nose and our mouth. And you can make your nose and your mouth look however you want. Again, I have different examples that you can look off of up on the screen or you can make up your own. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself smiling nice and big because I'm so excited that we're back here at school and together. Mrs. Dale's got a little gap in her teeth, so I'm gonna draw that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my tongue too. All okay, again, I'm gonna draw my neck so I don't have a floating head. This time I'm gonna go ahead and draw the bottom part of my neck. And then I'm gonna finish my ears off and my hair. And I'm gonna check and make sure it looks good. Masked and unmasked. It looks great. Now all that's left to do is color. Enjoy.